Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Today I will teach you in this video lecture how to calculate quantity of concrete for slab, column, beam and footing. Because we have different grades of concrete but majority of the people they are using M15 and M20 grade concrete. So in this video, I will discuss about M20 grade concrete, how to find quantity of concrete, especially M20 grade concrete material for beam, column, slab and footing. Let's start. First of all guys, before starting quantity of material like cement, sand and crush or aggregate, we will find volume of slab. If you want to find a quantity of material in slab, so you will find the volume of slab same volume of column volume of beam volume of footing etc so how we can find volume okay so this is very important first of all the density of concrete is 25 about 25 kilonewton per meter cube so in one meter cube we have 25 kilonewton concrete so this is the density of concrete remember this point so guys how to find volume of concrete for slab so to find volume of concrete for slab so first of all we will find the volume of slab then in that volume we will find volume of concrete because the volume of concrete is little change from the volume of slab beam column and slab are uh, and beam are footing okay so guys you can see this is uh, with us slab okay so this is a length of slab and this is breadth of slab and this is depth of slab so to get volume of slab or beam or column or footing so we need for the volume three dimensions length width or breadth or depth same like this you can see this is length of slab this is width or breadth of slab and this is thickness or depth of slab for example, breadth of the slab is this one, which is 5 meter and its length is 6 meter and thickness or depth is 0.15 meter. So how we can find its volume, okay, volume of slab for concrete. So guys, first of all, you can see this is volume of concrete for slab. So this is not the volume of uh, concrete for slab. This is volume for slab. First of all, volume for slab our volume of slab so what is the volume of slab okay the volume of slab is what area of rectangle multiply depth or thickness depth or thickness so we can get volume of slab so guys you can see area of the rectangle area of the rectangle is length multiply width you can see so 5 multiply 6 because 5 is breadth and its length is 6 meter so 5 multiply 6 so we can get area of rectangle then multiply depth or thickness of the slab which is d r thickness of the slab which is 0.15 meter so multiply 0.15 meter when you do calculation of this 5 multiply 6 multiply 0.15 so you will get this volume of slab okay 4.53 this is volume of slab okay so if you want to get the volume of for example guys this is the second one is column so if you need the volume of column okay so suppose this is a column okay so guys you can see 0 0.3 meter okay this is its one side and also this is square column for example this is also 0 0.3 meter and the height of the column is height of the column is for example which is 3 meter okay so how you can get its volume its volume because we have length also width also depth 
okay so this is square column so therefore we have one s so for example uh, l is uh, for example 0 0.3 and width is also 0 0.3 meter okay and depth is 3 meter okay so we can get the volume of this column 0 0.3 multiply 0 0.3 multiply depth which is 3 meter guys you can see same formula area of rectangle or square okay or a triangle anything so first of all we need area then we will multiply with depth so the area is 0 0.3 multiply 0 0.3 multiply 3 so we will get the volume of what this column okay so 0 0.3 multiply 0 0.3 multiply 3 okay so we have here 0 0.27 cubic meter 0 0.27 meter cube okay so this is the volume of what volume of column okay so if you need the volume of the okay so uh, let's to find out its quantity of concrete okay so how we can get quantity of concrete for example for this slab so you can see guys 4.5 meter is the volume of slab so how we can find its quantity okay so quantity of material so remember this is dry volume so sorry this is wet volume the first one is wet volume so the wet volume should be multiply with 1.4 1.54 so it increase when you want to convert wet volume to the dry volume because from the market or from the shop we bring or from the factory we bring wet volume uh, dry volume okay so the dry volume should be wet volume should be convert to the dry volume okay so to get dry volume okay so i need dry volume of concrete okay so that is guys 4.5 4.5 multiply it increase 54 percent okay so it will be multiplied with 1.54 so we will get the volume of concrete 4.5 4.5 multiply 1.54 1.54 so it become 6.93 meter cube okay so now in this volume we will find quantity of material cement sand and aggregate how for example i am using so using m20 grade concrete okay So M20 grade concrete ratio is 1, ratio 1 1.5, ratio 3. So this is the, uh, the first one is cement, the second one is sand, and the third one is aggregate or crush, fine aggregate, okay, coarse aggregate, sorry. So now I need to calculate quantity of cement, sand, and aggregate. So sum of ratio become, guys, 1 plus 1.5, so it become 2.5, and plus 3, so it become 5.5, this is the sum of ratio okay so in this i will find the quantity of material so guys i need now first one that is quantity of cement so how we can find quantity of cement in m20 m20 grade concrete okay so guys you can see here 5.5 is the sum of ratio so number cement is one okay so one divided by 5.5 okay so now i will get quantity of cement multiply volume dry volume okay so the dry volume is dry volume so now you can get guy, guys 1 divided by 5.5 multiplied dry volume is 6.93 okay so guys 6.93 should be divided by 5.5 or 1 divided by 5.5 multiply 6.93 okay so here guys we have 1 by 5, 5.5 multiply 6.93. So we need guys what? 1.26 meter cube. So this is the volume of cement. This is the volume of cement. So we required 1.26 meter cube volume for this lab. Okay. Now how to find its quantity of sand, okay, so quantity of 
send second we required okay so send is guys you can see here that is two so two sorry 1.5 okay so 1.5 divided by sum of ratio which is 5.5 so 5.5 multiply again dry volume which is here 6.39 so 6.39 so 6.93 sorry 6.93 okay so here guys you can find 1.5 divided by 5.5 multiply 6.93 so we required 1.89 meter cube volume of sand okay this is the quantity of sand now guys we required third quantity of aggregate okay so which is three so three number three number divided by sum of ratio 5.5 multiply what multiply 6.93 dry volume 6.93 so guys this is the uh, second time of the uh, second type uh, aggregate is second time of or two time of sand so simply when you multiply this when you multiply 1.89 with 2 so directly you will get 3.78 meter cube okay so I did it simple with simple method you can do you will get this video okay so guys this is the method to find quantity of cement sand and aggregate for m20 grade concrete for rcc slip so guys now how you can find numbers of bag cement bag okay so remember that one bag of cement is equal our volume of one bag cement is zero point zero three five meter cube okay so when you do calculation for this so guys 1.26 should be divided by 1.26 okay i need volume uh, numbers of cement bags okay so 1.26 divided by 0 0.035 okay so guys we required how many numbers 36 bags of cement required 36 bags okay so 1.26 should be divided by 0 0.035 so we require 36 cement bag which weight should be 50 kg okay one bag cement weight should be 50 kg okay it doesn't mean that we require 50 kg cement for this volume no one bag of cement is equal 50 kg and we require 36 bags of cement same guys the formula is same first of all you will need to find volume of column if you need to find quantity of uh, cement sand and aggregate for m20 grade concrete so first of all you need volume of column so after uh, volume of column we will multiply it with 1.54 to convert it to dry volume okay so dry volume so after that you will use the same formula if you are using m20 or m15 so you will first uh, get its ratio and sum of ratio and uh, then cement number divided by sum of ratio multiply total volume dry volume okay you will get the quantity of cement sand so you will get uh, number of uh, sand 1.5 divided by sum of ratio multiply this volume when you multiply it with 1.54 same for uh, coarse aggregate etc so first of all guys we need to find the volume of structure then that volume should be multiplied with dry volume then you will get the dry volume of the rcc structure if that is beam column or slab any structure then you can find its quantity easily uh, if that is m15 grade or if that is m20 grade etc so guys if this video is helpful for you so must like this video and subscribe the channel with press bell icon if you are new thanks for watching see you in next video